That was Jeremy Christian in court last week. Today, the defendant in the fatal Max stabbings will be back in front of a judge as his attorneys ask for his murder trial to be delayed. Also here in the six o'clock hour, we'll take a look at new video that shows the moment a bounce house goes airborne at a Washington high school. Wind gusts threw it 20 feet into the air, injuring five students. Plus, the Blazers are back home with a chance to grab the lead in their playoff series against the Nuggets. We're just a little bit ahead of the game, broadcasting live this morning from center court at Moda Center. And we're also celebrating Cinco de Mayo. Portland's annual fiesta happens all this weekend. We'll preview the music, the food, and the fun. The six o'clock hour of KGW News at Sunrise starts right now. Oh, a lot of fun. Happy Friday, everybody. We begin with this live look at Tom McCall Waterfront Park. The tents are set up, the rides are there, everything getting ready for Cinco de Mayo, the big fiesta this weekend. We will have more on that coming up in just a little bit. I know, don't yeah, you want to like do that? that. It's a fun way to start Sometimes, our show on a Friday. Yeah. yeah, good morning. Thanks for joining us. So Rod is not in studio today because he's out on the road. Yeah, we'll break this down. Uh, big picture, you're in Yamhill County. More specifically, you're in Newburgh. More specifically, at the home <laughs> of Adelsheim Wines. <laughs> yes, just outside of Newburgh. Beautiful clear sky morning. By the way, if you spend enough time outdoors, it's a bit chilly. We have temperatures out here in the county in the upper 30s in some spots. So many beautiful wineries. It is Oregon Wine Month. And of course, uh, Adelsheim, one of the oldest and one of the most beautiful. Here's a look at the bus stop to get you out the door on a Friday morning. Temperatures in the city have been holding in the 40s. Um, and as the kids uh, walk out the door and get to school, it'll be perfectly clear for the most part. Lunchtime recess, 61 degrees when they get out of school. We'll be back up close to 70. We're forecasting 69. Yesterday it was 66. Featuring Newburgh this morning as part of Rod on the Road. Time to check out the traffic and here's Lacey Evans. Looks like a beautiful time out there in Newburgh. And you know what? The commute doesn't look that bad either. You can see we have just some few delays out there. But I-5 southbound out of Vancouver still looks good. We're seeing a small lineup right there at SR 14, but nothing major. Just adding maybe about a minute to your drive in. And then 205 southbound over the Abernathy Bridge. Still a speed limit drive all the way down to Tualatin. Ashley. Lacey, thank you. We begin in Selwood this morning where Portland police are investigating investigating a shooting they say could be caused by road rage. This happened near Southeast Umatilla and 17th. Officers found a man with a gunshot wound last night. They say he should be okay. Investigators say it's possible road rage led to the shooting, but didn't say specifically why. Right now, there is no suspect information, but we will keep you updated. Now to Jeremy Christian. He will be back in court today. He's accused of stabbing three men on a MAX train in 2017. His attorneys want to delay his trial. Christine Pitawanich is following this story for us this morning. Christine, this is a story that a lot of our viewers are following too. And his lawyers have asked for changes with this trial a couple of times now. Good morning, Drew. Brenda, yeah, the first time was the defense wanted to move the trial out of Multnomah County. The judge said no to that. Now they want to delay the trial that's set for June. The judge is expected to hear final arguments today. Jeremy Christian's defense attorneys say they need more time to prepare for the trial. They also say proposed legislation regarding the death penalty could have an impact on any conviction. Christian is accused of stabbing three people on a max train in 2017. Two men died. The last time he was in court, Christian had an outburst. It happened as Demetria Hester said Christian assaulted her the day before the max stabbing. I'm the victim. You You're on video making me liar, liar, right You're liar. You're not the only black person on the max. Liar, manufacturing hate crimes. You liar. So that's him, an angry white racist. Christian has interrupted court more than once since his arrest in May of 2017. And a KGW investigation found over the last couple of years, Christian has been disciplined for five separate incidents in jail, including fights threats and use of a racial slur toward a deputy. We plan to be in the courtroom today and of course we'll let you know if the trial will be postponed. Back to you. Christine, thank you. 
We now know the man accused of a stabbing spree in Southeast Portland in a home in Southeast Portland had been released from jail just before the attack. Police say 42 year old Jeb Brock stabbed four people on Monday. Officers shot and killed him. Our news partner, the Oregonian reports Brock had been in jail just two weeks earlier in Washington County. He was facing felony robbery and weapons charges, but the judge declared a mistrial and he was released. Police say the stabbings happened while Brock was waiting for a retrial this month. All four stabbing victims survived. This story is new this morning. Four people are safe after their fishing boat caught on fire along the Oregon coast. The Coast Guard is sharing this photo right now of the boat burning near Bandon. Four people on board abandoned the ship and they were rescued later by some good Samaritans. Now the boat is beached right now. The Coast Guard continues to monitor for any potential environmental impacts and we still don't have a word on what exactly caused that fire. Okay, you guys, how's this for irony? A suspected drunk driver hit a parked car right outside the Oregon Liquor Control Commission in Milwaukee. Surveillance video shows the crash on Frontage Road, but the driver didn't stop. Police are now looking for a white Jeep Compass Trailhawk with a black stripe on the hood. It has damage to the entire passenger side. If you know anything, you're asked to call Milwaukee Police. Well, check out this video of a bounce house accident that injured five Washington High School students. Witnesses who were there say that a big gust of wind lifted that inflatable about 20 feet off the ground and tossed it 200 feet away. This happened Wednesday near Yakima. The school hasn't said how badly the students inside were hurt. It's unclear if that inflatable was secured to the ground. Blazers now back in town for game three of their playoff series with the Nuggets tonight at Moda Center. Of course, they won game two in Denver earlier this week. That series is now tied, but the Blazers can take the lead with tonight's home game. Tip-off is set for 730, and to get us ready for the action tonight, we have Tim Gordon at Moda Center this morning. We'll check back in with him in about 30 minutes from right now. And we will continue to talk about Blazers all day long here on KGW. Dan Haggerty and Laurel Porter will bring us live reports from Moda Center starting at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Orlando Sanchez, we are not letting him go home early on this Friday. He's going to be there all <laughs> night long and bring us all the highlights a little bit later. Rush now. Attorney General William Barr could be charged with contempt over a subpoena to obtain the full unredacted Mueller report. House Democrats are now bypassing Barr completely to speak directly with Robert Mueller's team. This comes as Barr refused to show up for day two of the judiciary hearings yesterday over his handling of Mueller's report on Russian interference in the election. He didn't want to answer questions from staff lawyers like Democrats had demanded. Folks in Arkansas are clean up this morning after two tornadoes hit. Trees and power lines were knocked down and several homes were damaged. One injury was reported though. Police say it happened when a man in a car was hit by a flying street sign. A category five cyclone is hitting India right now with wind gusts of 127 miles an hour. More than a million people have been evacuated to shelters. So far, no deaths or injuries have been reported. It's been 20 years since a cyclone this strong hit India. That one killed 10,000 people. Imagine that. Fans and colleagues are paying tribute to the man behind an iconic character. This is Peter Mayhew. He played Chewbacca in Star Wars. He passed away at 74 yesterday, just shy of tomorrow's honorary Star Wars Day, May the 4th. Co-star Harrison Ford said Mayhew was a kind and gentle man saying they were partners in film and friends for life. The 145th Kentucky Derby starts tomorrow in Louisville. Last year's winner Justify went on to become only the 13th horse in history to win the Triple Crown. Bob Baffert, he's very famous. There's documentaries on him. He trained Justified. He is feeling three separate horses tomorrow. Roadster game winner and improbable. Those are all great names. <laughs> Those are the horses to watch. You can watch the Derby right here on KGW starting at 1130. You know, it's like long coverage and then the race is this big. Well, you know, it's funny because we went decades without a Triple Crown winner. I mean, literally uh, from we didn't have any in the 80s, the 90s, the early 2000s. American Pharaoh won the Triple Crown a couple years ago. Big deal. I forgot that we had a Triple Crown winner last year. Last year. Justify. Yeah. I totally forgot that. Justified. Good name.